What's up, Internet? Uh, Matt Gunn from House.com, and this is a 2019 Arbor Coda Camber Snowboard. Uh, this is one of my favorite decks from the Camber line, or from the Arbor line, for this year because it has Camber. It's an all-mountain deck uh, designed for intermediate to advanced level hard-charging riders that want quick edge-to-edge -edge response, loads of pop, and a torsionally kind of stiff board. Um, this is a mountain twin style shape, uh, which means that it's basically a direction of twin. Inside the contact points, the board is this twin. The stands are centered, the cyclic radiuses are centered, and if you ride it this way, it's gonna feel the same as if you ride it this way. The only big difference is, outside of the contact points on the nose, the nose is just one centimeter longer. That's not too much, but enough to make a difference when you set the stance back and ride deep snow. Now, this is a camber profile shape. It has a nice arc to it. You see, it has about a five millimeter rise. It's actually a pretty big camber, but it's called parabolic camber. So it gradually mellows out as it gets to the contact points. But the cool thing about the contact points is that they're a lot, they're a lot less catchy than the traditional camber style board because Arbor does a thing called uprise fenders. They actually take these shoulders and raise them up at three degrees so you're less likely to catch an edge if you come up short spinning on a jump or uh, just kind of cruising around and not paying attention. The, the Coda Camber version is probably about a seven, maybe even an eight on that flex rating scale. Um, the rocker version is about a six, but the construction materials in this thing, the layups, um, just make it a, a very responsive board. So if you like like riding fast, big sweeping crossover cars and switching up to smaller ones, uh, this thing is great because it's really quick edge to edge. It also has a three year warranty, which is nice for anyone who's really hard on their boards. Uh, inside is a double, uh, double barrel, two light wood core. It's a combination of both bamboo and uh, poplar style woods. Uh, basically the whole thing is uh, poplar but there is two stringers or a stringer on each edge of bamboo that gives it a little bit more of a torsional stiffness combine that with a mixed style glass there's biac glass on bottom at zero and at 90 degrees and then triax glass on top uh, the glass is a, a really great combination because triax is fairly stiff torsionally and biax is fairly soft torsionally it's kind of good catch right in the middle uh, but another kind of unique thing about the deck is uh, the the Top sheet. Now, the, the rocker version has a bamboo, and I believe this is ash. So it's just it's gonna react just a little bit different. I'm pretty sure that they put the ash in here instead of bamboo, because if they did, it would have been a lot more stiff than the rocker version. This one is a little bit stiffer, a little bit more reactive than the rocker version, but if you put bamboo on top there, it would have been just crazy stuff. The board is gonna be fast, of course, because of the centered style base, so there's really not much structure to the sport so if you ride in wet or humid conditions you might want to add some structure to it it's been factory waxed by when wax works um, but make sure to keep it waxed up throughout the season there's a 360 wrap standard steel edge and a 360 uh, sidewall too to make it ultra durable and strong and then lastly grip tech edges protruding edges where your toes and your heels are so you can grip on firm snow a lot better because of the unblended transition zones between three different side radiuses Two on the nose, or one on the nose, one on the tail that are large for big sweeping crossover carbs, and tighter one in between the feet for those little cross under carbs. This is a rad deck, it really is. Uh, you know, for someone who has kind of grown up riding camber boards, um, I'll always love camber, but um, Coda, the Coda does a really good job at having a camber style board that seems a little bit softer in the edge bite in the contact points while keeping also torsionally stiff. It's a really good combination. So you can rip this thing really hard, but you don't really have to pay you know, a lot of attention to what's happening with the snow. You don't have to be so precise with, you know, with, you can have a little room for error on the Coda, which is a nice thing for a stiffer camber board. Uh, make sure to check this thing out uh, at thehouse.com. This is the 2019 Coda Camber from Arbor. And uh, leave a comment or a question. Let me know what you think of this thing here. Subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there. And hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.